So what I want to do is just set you up with understanding the Terraform lifecycle. This is not necessarily uh, described in the documentation anywhere, but it's something that is inherently known when you're working with Terraform. Uh, and it's definitely not uh, 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 inclusive of every single command that can be ran, but the ones that you're going to encounter most often. So at the start, you're going to be writing or updating your Terraform configuration file, okay? And from there, the first thing you'll want to do is initialize your projects and or if you need to pull the latest providers and modules, you're going to use Terraform init to do that as well. From there, you're going to use plan. So plan allows you to speculate what will change or generate a saved execution plan that you could use later on. When you run plan, validate happens automatically, but you could also run this separately and ensures types and values are valid, ensures the required attributes are present within your configuration file. From there, if everything is good, you're going to execute your uh, execution plan by running Terraform apply. Uh, you can also, from this point, use Terraform apply to destroy infrastructure. So if you have things set up, there's actually a flag for it, or you can use the alias, the Terraform destroy command. And then, you know, as you work, you're just going to keep updating your code. And that is the Terraform life cycle. So, you know, hopefully this gives you kind of a, a snapshot of what the workflow will be. Um, and I mean, we'll be covering it tons and uh, tons of times over in this course, okay?